to install and use Feather app, in combination with Krava sign certificates, with all the required entitlements. First go ahead, and launch the Safari browser. Now type, and search for Feather GitHub, so type exactly what I typed on the search bar. On the search results, tap on the first Feather GitHub link, and on the next page. Scroll down, and tap on the releases section, to download the latest version of Feather IPA file, which is located under the assets section, as shown here. So simply tap on the IPA file, and download the Feather app into your iOS device. Once the same is downloaded, and next, I will be using certificates by Kravasign for IPA signing, and I have made a detailed video on Kravasign, link will be in description. After registering your device with Kravasign, you will get the certificate in zip file, as shown. Tap on the zip file, to extract the same. Once the same is extracted, navigate into the extracted folder. And you will two types of certificates, first is distribution, that supports in app notifications, and general app distribution, Second is development certificates, that supports enabling JIT features. And inside each certificates type folder, you will get the P12 and mobile provision file. Now that we have the certificates, let's sideload Feather, using online signer tool. Visit this same website, and tap on online IPA signer. On the next page, under the IPA section, tap on choose file, and now locate the Feather app, and select it. Similarly, one by one, import the mobile provision file, and the P12 file respectively. Type the password, which is Kravasign, all in lowercase. Keep these two options disabled. And then finally tap on Upload and Sign. Once the Feather IPA is uploaded, simply tap on Sign IPA. Once signed, just tap on Install IPA. And tap on Install again, when you get this pop-up. Let's go back and check, and as you can see, the Feather app is sideloaded successfully. And it's also launching, and the best part, there is no need of trusting any certificates, or install any DNS setup, as Kravasign provides 365 days of revoke protection and revoke warranty. So now that we have Feather side loaded, navigate to settings option, and go to certificates option. And as there is no certificate, let's import Krava certificate to Feather app. Tap on import, and now, import both the mobile provision file, and P12 file. You can import both, development, and distribution certificates to Feather app. Enter the password, which is Kravasign in lowercase. And that's it. Now go back, and navigate to installations option. Make sure the installation type is set to server, and also the server type to fully local. Once the setup is completed, let's now sign, and install any IPA file. Tap on this plus icon, and now navigate to your device's file section, and select as many IPA files as you want, as there is no limit to the number to apps you can install. As you can see, I have imported more than 3 apps, so there is no 3 apps limit, and also do not require any computer at all. Once the app is imported successfully, simply tap on the sign option as shown, and then tap on start signing. Similarly, do the same for every other imported apps. Once all the apps are signed finally, tap on the app, and then tap on this install button, and as simple as that you can see the target application is installed successfully, and also launching without any issues. Redo the same steps for every other apps, and you will have all the apps sideloaded, as shown on the video. If you want to enroll your device with Kravasign with as low as $7.90, and want a dedicated video on Kravasign, check the link in description, or pinned comment. If you are interested in e-sign or k-sign, watch my next videos, and do subscribe to my channel for more.